Hey folks, Phil the Bee Man here. I have my uh, queen transport rig that uh, we went out on, I want to say, three days ago, Sunday morning. Yeah, so it's today's Wednesday. Three days ago to put in queen cells, and we had extra ones. Uh, and we just left them in here. We actually worked the rest of the day and then when I came home I stuck it back in the incubator uh, and I thought we'll just see how many of those hatch. It's a bit of a test of how well I handle these things whether my my setup here is adequate or not so they were out of the incubator out of the highs for about I want to say six seven hours and uh, then they went back in and they should have hatched within 12 hours. So they should all be either they're hatched now or they're not going to be. Let's see what we have. Okay, so there's the first layer. We used all those. And here's the second layer. I, <laughs> I see some kicking around in here so uh, let's have a look so we're going to count hatched hatched you can see what I'm looking at is whether uh, the I'll get the light I don't know if I can get this to see the uh, maybe a better example well, here's one with the, the, she couldn't get out of the hole after she hatched, so she's, she's there dead. She starved, after, unfortunately, after hatching. Here's one uh, where the little flap of wax is still attached. Get some a bunch of uh, the young queens in the in the carrier. All of these so far have hatched. Oh, there's one that hasn't, and it's uh, in fact it never developed. So that's that never developed beyond the larval stage for some reason. Probably not enough royal jelly, and. Uh, so that's not the fault of the incubator or the transport. That was a fault in the uh, in in an earlier process hatched. A lot of them, though, when they can't get out of the hole, they'll crawl back into the cell to try to find something to eat. Hatched. 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 Hatched, 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 and then she chewed the heck out of her cell and hatched. So, I would call that, quite frankly, uh, I mean, this is a definitely, this one would not have hatched in the nuke, but I don't think it is a fault of my incubator. I think that's the fault of... Uh, inadequate uh, feeding, uh, I don't know, if something went wrong with that at an earlier stage. So, I don't know if you want to call that, I mean there's rough, there was roughly 50 there, not quite, two, three, four, five, I should have counted them before I started pulling them, 10, 15, 20, 25, so there was, there was, uh, thir uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and one didn't hatch, so, uh, you know, roughly 3% loss on, and in terms of the incubator, uh, and, and the transport, I think that's, um, 
that's success. So just to remind you guys what I do use is I have one of these gel packs and I keep these in my incubators and so that they're the right temperature. I don't just heat it in a microwave or heat it in a, a bottle of water. I just keep it in the incubator so it's the exact right temperature and then put that in the bottom of this insulated lunch pail. This is not heavily insulated. It was a, a relatively nice day on the on uh, that day, so they weren't likely to get too chilled. If it was going to be a super cold day like it is today, I would actually put another gel pack on top. Then we put you know, the, the little packs with the foamies, or this one's a styrofoam, and that goes in the bag, and then a little bit of a foam on top, and that keeps them happy all day apparently. Thanks a lot everyone. Have a great day.